makes me can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. Don't stop to diddle daddle. Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. Today I'm going to give you a very quick and brief look at something called phone formats. Now if you happen to be in your database and when you add a phone number you find yourself having to take the time to put in brackets and things of that nature, I'm going to teach you the trick that actually sort of pre-formats phone numbers and emails for you. Now a lot of you might already know this trick, but if you don't it, you'll find it's a huge time saver. Now the way we look at this is by opening up any record. I've opened up Mark Adamson from my sample database and you'll notice that when I put my cursor in one of the phone type sections, there's this option down here that says press F7 for table lookup. Well when I do open the table, I will basically get a look at every kind of phone type there is. Now as I scroll through them, if I highlight one and open it up by hitting the edit button, you'll see it has this thing called a phone format next to it. Now, if your system doesn't have a format set and you're choosing this as the type, watch what would happen. I can come in here and type in a phone number, say it's, I'm just grabbing any number at random, and you'll notice that no format's happening or brackets or digits of that nature. Now if I come back to this and I open up that format tab again and I change the format Notice the phone number format feature below here. I can do it with the brackets or I can just do it with the dashes. Just a matter of preference at this point. I could say OK, OK, and now what will happen is it will automatically feature for me. Now this goes the same for an email and a web format as well. By hitting F7, you can open it up, go to an email, and you'll notice that it's set as an email address, right? Same thing with a web. In the event that you're finding yourself not getting it hyperlinked to the actual web address, it's because this is not set. If this was set as something other or none, it would just show up as a web address, but by making it a web address, what ends up happening is you have this ability. I can say www, and I'll just use Google for this example, but you'll notice that it becomes hyperlink, right? Now, if I have an email or a web address as a hyperlink, from a person's record, I could click it and it will automatically launch that in your browser or if you're doing an email and you have it linked to Outlook, it will launch a to message in your Outlook with the person's name populating the to field. So that is your tip for the day. I hope that helps. Check us out at razorsedgeforrookies.com.